Hi children, today we are going to learn something new. We are going to do prefix and we, we have some letters here. When you put together, you read it as under. Now this word under, when you place it before another word, it will give a different meaning. And that's what we are going to do today. So what that we are going to learn? Prefix under the letters U N D E R under. We place it before different words giving different meaning. Shall we look at that? It's very interesting for you. We are learning to read. Yes? Read meaningful sentences. So shall we look at our first word with prefix? Under, look what we have here. Read for me, under. One look, you should be able to read. What word is this? Under. Plus another word. Yes, this is line. You know what is line? You draw line, standing line, sleeping line, horizontal line, vertical line. Now, when we add prefix under to the Word line, what do we get? Good, you get another word. Under, we combine, we put the prefix under before line and we get a word, a totally a different word, underline. You know the meaning of underline? What does teacher say? Underline the nouns, underline the verbs, underline the heading, that means when she writes something there, you draw a line under. Let's read the sentence with underline. Shall we look at? Here we have underline every noun in the sentence. What did the teacher tell you? Underline every noun in the sentence. So we are learning to read the sentence. What are we doing today? We are doing prefix under. These letters together we call it under. Under plus line, a totally different word. Line, together we get a new word. Underline. And the sentence is underline every noun in the sentence. Beautiful. You learn to read now. Read the sentence number of times. It will become great. Shall we look at the prefix under? With another word, here we are. Under. What is it? Under. What is under? Under the table, under the book, under. Yes? Where is the pussycat hide? Under the chair. Under plus. Another word. Look at the word we have here. Ground. Ground. Together when we under plus ground, we get a two we get a new word. What is that word? Underground. What word is that? Under. What is the meaning of underground? In the garden, you go and look at a plant, pull out a tiny plant, and what do you see? Underground, the roots grow underground. Yes, the root is under and the plant stands up. Yes? Yes, underground. You do not see the root, but it's there underground. Shall we look at a sentence with the word underground? Here we are. Root vegetables. What is root vegetable? Example, carrot, beetroot, radish. Root vegetables grow underground. Good. Carrot grows underground. Yes, all root vegetables. Carrot. Beetroot. They all grow where? Under the ground. You only see the whole, the plant, the leaves sticking out. Good. So under plus ground. Under means below something. Ground is where? Ground in the garden. Two different words. When you put the prefix in front of ground, you get the new word underground. The sentence is... Root vegetables grow underground. Good. You learn to read now. Shall we look at a 
another word joining the prefix under look under what word is this prefix under plus we have a new word here look at the new word stand we are going to join prefix under plus stand what is the word you will get the new word is understand what does the teacher tell you after she does something teaches something did you understand did you understand did it, you are able to know did you know should i repeat should i explain that's what the teacher says what is the new word we get understand understand whatever the teacher said you can understand let's look at the sentence with the word understand yes look here i can understand the topic the teacher is talking about the moon the moon changes shape moon comes at night and you are teacher is asking did you understand and you say i can understand the topic whatever topic could what is the word prefix under we have a new word stand what is the meaning of stand to stand up but when the under is put before the word stand we get a new word understand what is the sentence i i can understand the topic good so we are learning words prefix new word sentence could shall we look at another word with prefix under look under plus look at the new word we have here for you what is it arm show me your arm this is your arm now under plus arm we get a new word what is that word under arm and this is your arm under arm all right under arm now let's look at the sentence with the word new word under arm look kate has hurt her under arm here is your arm under she has hurt her under arm she needs to go to the doctor the prefix under and a new word arm we get a new word under arm what is the sentence you use the word under arm in a sentence kate has hurt her under arm could let's shall we look at the prefix under with another word look what we have here under plus the new word is age what is age you are 5 years old you are 9 years old you are 10 years old age that's your age grandma is 80 years old yes good so now we have the prefix under plus another word age when we join together what is the new word you get under age under age what is the word you get under what's the meaning of under age not ready to supposing you say you got to go to you have to go to pre kg all right you want to go to a play school and then you say your baby is only 1 year old then they say your baby is under age the baby needs to be 2 years old or 2 and a half to go to a play school under age means below 2 and a half yes the baby is not ready now supposing you want to go to school you want to get into standard 1 and then you are only 3 years and they say no you are under age you cannot get into the class yes let's look at the sentence what we have here for you sam is a little boy sam is under age to join the school sam wants to go to do get into lkg and he needs to be 3 year old but is only 2 year old so what does the headmaster say headmaster says sam is under age you have to wait for one more year to join the school he is very eager to go to school he needs to wait for another year long because sam is under age to join the school good 
shall we look at another word joining the prefix under with under we are going to use another word under plus a new word and we are going to form a completely new word under plus go what is go go out of the door go to the market go you know what is go now under plus go what is the new word you get undergo undergo your dad is not too well he's he's got a heart problem so what does the doctor say he needs to undergo a small surgery yes let's look at the sentence we have for you amy has to undergo a surgery yes amy has broken her leg now they have to go through a surgery put back her bones correctly amy is a little girl was broken the little leg and so amy has to undergo a surgery a small surgery to set right a foot yes you know what is the meaning of undergo undergo means you have to get on to do an operation with doctor will help you the dad needs a heart surgery at the hospital the surgeon the doctor will help daddy with a small operation and he'll get all right what is happening to amy amy has to undergo a surgery yes good so you learned the prefix under the new word go and completely new word we formed undergo and the sentence is amy has to undergo a surgery could shall we look at the prefix under and take another new word and form a completely new word yes look what we have under prefix under plus a new word we have here look read that word for me water you have under here you have water here when you combine join together you get completely a new word under water what is it under plus water what word will you get under water what do you find under water under water you find lots of things fishes all kinds of things under water under water what do you find you find turtles and fishes and what not yes let's look at the sentence we have here for you i saw an underwater aquarium in japan so when you went to japan you saw that yes in japan there is an underwater aquarium and you enjoyed looking at it yes with the fishes moving yes all the thing that you can see below the water yes let's read you have here the word prefix under and then you have another word water and we have a completely new word underwater and let's read the sentence now i saw an underwater aquarium in japan good so you learn to read the sentence yes with the word underwater good let's look at the prefix under plus another new word shall we and here we are under the prefix is here plus a new word is coming up what is it estimate estimate you're going to play a game and then you look at your friend across and you make an estimate now is my friend smarter than me will i win the game or will he win the game making an estimate judging looking at the person saying can i win the game yes now when you join under plus estimate what is the new word you get underestimate it's a long big word what word do you get underestimate okay underestimate is a new word so you're looking at a friend across and you're saying oh no that friend he cannot i will win you are making a judgement let's look at the 
sentence we have for you yes do not underestimate others strength okay do not underestimate other strength so you are having a game you having a friend opposite playing against you and so you should not underestimate you should not say oh he doesn't look strong he doesn't look that good i will win no you might mistake finally you would have underestimate your friend and then he wins and you lose what is the sentence you have do not underestimate other strength others may not look strong but they may be capable they may be able to win good you learned the word under prefix under you joined another word estimate and you formed a new word underestimate you also learned a sentence do not underestimate other strength so we learned a new sentence too good shall we look at the prefix under with another word and form a completely new word look what we have prefix under plus and then a new word plus wear what is wear you wear on your coat yes you wear on your shirt where you put on okay now something that you put on okay you wear on your pant jeans look we have the word under then you have the word wear when we join what is the new word you get underwear what is it underwear what is the new word underwear the dress the something that you wear first and then you put on the little girl will wear and have an underwear then you put a dress on top yes shall we look at a sentence look what we have here the kid the kid is a little child the kid has not worn his underwear properly maybe it's hanging maybe it's too loose maybe it didn't put it on properly one side up one side down the little kid has not worn his underwear properly so you help the child to wear the underwear properly yes that is it so you have the prefix under then you have the word wear when we join we got a new word underwear and what is the sentence we learned the kid has not worn his underwear properly good shall we look at the prefix under and plus another new word and let's look at the new word that we can make together with these two words okay under plus what is the new word look at it read graduate graduate you get into lkg you finish lkg ukg then you graduate that means you go further you go into standard 1 Yes then you say oh i graduated now i am in standard 1 now what is the new word you get under plus graduate what is the new word under graduate what is the new word under graduate now let's look at the sentence we have for you okay kim is an undergraduate student you study in the school now you graduate you go into first standard then you go into second and go now if you not completed your schooling then you say kim is an undergrad not completed is still completing kim is an undergraduate student good so you did the prefix you learned to read under and you have a new word a graduate and we formed a new word undergraduate what is the sentence we learned kim is an undergraduate student good 